Hey guys, it's Len at Lion Strong Athletics. Whether you're a new lifter or you're a seasoned vet, the question of training split always leads the conversation. Well, today I want to go over what a training split is, as well as some options if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. Before we get into it, hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on our most recent videos. A training split is how you organize your workouts based on muscle groups. So this involves how often you train each muscle, as well as what you pair these muscles with. For example, some people like to train back with biceps or leg day where you train quads and glutes and hamstrings all in the same day. Or some people like to switch that up where you train maybe chest with hamstrings. There are an infinite amount of possibilities, but let's go over some options that are acceptable for every level. If you're a beginner, we're just getting to work out, just trying to form habits here, or maybe you're coming back to lifting, you haven't lifted in a while, I recommend the full body split. Now what this means is every single workout, we're trying to hit one exercise for each muscle group. So one exercise for a chest, one exercise for back, one exercise for quads, and so on, right? The reason we want to do this is we don't want to overwhelm the muscles too much, too early, too soon. It provides very little stress or little damage, right? It's easier to recover. You have less of an injury risk. The reason behind that is as you're working out, you're just getting into it, your tendons, your muscles and your tendons especially, they're not used to this kind of stress, right? So if you do a chest workout, that has four exercises in it, and you have not been lifting, your chest is not going to be able to handle that kind of stress, and your chest tendons might not be able to handle that stress, and that's what leads to injury. So we need to, as beginners, take it slow, right? Um, it also gives us less muscle soreness. And the reason why I cannot stress this is enough is when someone comes and work, works out, and they do four chest exercises, and they're sore for a whole week, guess what is a deterrent for them to come back to the gym, right? We want to form this habit of getting to the gym and getting active again. So we want to start off with full body workouts, little stress. That way we are not deterred by feeling sore all the time, okay? Now we can do this on three day splits or two days in the workout. So maybe I work out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's full body, full body, full body. Maybe I take this weekend off. Or another option here is if we want an extra day of rest in between, maybe I work out here, take two days off, work out here, take two days off, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it gives you a chance to decide how many recovery days in between, one or two typically, and then hit full body every single time. Now, this is the reason I think this is the best for my program for beginners, and this is what I do in my Lion Strong One program. I have two or three day splits program that is tailored for full body every single time because I think this is the best bang for your buck for beginners and the best training split. While full body is best for beginners, eventually the stimulus that you get from these full body workouts and one exercise per muscle group is not going to be enough. Your body's going to adapt way too easily and we need a greater stimulus. That's when we're gonna move on to an intermediate program. And what we do in these intermediate programs is split the body up into two different days. So instead of working our body full body every single time we work out, now we're gonna split it up into a push and a pull. So push muscles like chest, shoulders, quads, triceps, I would do on one day and then pull muscles like back, biceps, hamstrings, maybe glutes, I would do on another day. And the reason we can do this is before with, with full body, we're doing one exercise per muscle group per day, but with push and pull, and we're splitting our body up into days, we can now do two or three exercises per muscle group per day. Another example of this, we can do an upper and lower program. So you're doing all upper body one day, and then the next day we're doing all lower body. So it depends kind of what your main goals are, uh, which one you want to choose, or you could try both out. The benefit of this is we're getting a little bit more damage. 
which was going to result in more growth. And our body's half going to have to adapt and overcome and have a bigger stimulus to grow off of. Another great benefit of a two-day split is now we don't have to take a day off in between our workouts. We could potentially do a push day on Monday, followed by a pull day on Tuesday, and then maybe a rest day on Wednesday, and then we hit another push day on Thursday, and a pull day on Friday. Because our body is split up into different groups, we can now train back-to-back -back days. Of course, you can organize this however you want. Maybe you want to have with your schedule, you need two days off over here, and you're going to hit that pull day on Sunday. It doesn't have to be perfect every time, and we can work around your schedule and be variable with what days you work out on this plan. On Lion Strong 2, I have my clients that progress from beginners move into this push-pull program or this upper-lower upper lower program because this is the best split for intermediates. Just like with the beginner program not being enough eventually, the intermediate program, you run into the same problem. Eventually, if you're staunch about it, you're not going to have the same stimulus. Your body's going to be uh, adapting too easily, and we're going to need to advance our program into a three-day split, a three- or four-day split. Now, some good examples of this are push-pull legs. That's where we do upper body push day, like chest, shoulders, and triceps one day. We move on our next day to a pull day, still upper body, so back and biceps. And then our last day would be a leg day. Another example of this is a classic Arnold opposite uh, split, where we do chest and back one day, shoulders and arms another day, and then that same leg day is our third. And some people hate working out legs on the same day, and they want to split it up. So here's a good example of a four-day split. Chest with triceps, quads another day, back with biceps, and then hamstrings and shoulders. Now, depending on what you like, you can make, basically mix this around to make any kind of split you want. The options are endless. The benefit of having this three-day split now is we can work out, say we're doing push-pull legs, I can push on Monday, pull on Tuesday, and do legs on Wednesday because while we are hitting other uh, parts of our body, we can recover over this entire time until we hit another workout that push again on Friday. I have these three days here for that group to recover, especially because we're gonna be able to hit three, four, potentially even five exercises per muscle group, depending on the group. We're gonna have a bigger, a bigger stress and we're gonna need our uh, a greater time to recover from that stress. So a three to four day program is gonna be best for advanced lifters. Now with this, there's also bro splits where you're working out chest on Monday, back on Tuesday, legs on Wednesday, shoulders on Thursday, and arms on Friday, something like that, where you're just broken up, where you do one thing once a week. This is generally not very effective uh, for most people. Uh, that being said, there are some pros who do that and they get great results. So if that's really what you want to do, I generally advise against that. I think it's mostly for outliers uh, and I would stick to a three or four, uh, four program for advanced lifters, but that's always an option. Uh, my favorite, I really like a classic Arnold uh, program of doing opposites. And the reason why I really like that is we can superset muscles. So I can hit a chest workout and then walk over and hit a back workout back to ba back to back. If I don't have a whole lot of time in the gym, maybe I need to catch a quick 30, 40 minute uh, workout. I can accomplish this in a lot less time. Whereas push workouts, typically it's more one exercise at a time. Um, but you can also accomplish that on a four day split where I could hit my uh, hamstring exercise, and then I could go hit a shoulder exercise and superset it that way. So you have a lot of options, and we got to find out what you like and what works for you on this advanced program. So what is the perfect split? You're probably looking at this and thinking, what are all these numbers? I'll explain that in a second. But first, I want to say, what is the perfect split? 
The answer is, I don't know. And if you have the answer, please leave it in the comments for me or give me some ideas. But I want to use this as a bit of a thought experiment as to how to organize what would be the perfect split. Now, a lot of people will do a pull, a pull day where they work back and biceps together. But the truth is, back is a larger muscle group than biceps are, drastically larger. All these numbers here are gathered from different studies and are fairly decent estimations of the average cubic centimeter or muscle size and volume for each muscle group. What I really want to point out here is the quads are a much bigger muscle group than the hamstrings are. And back is a much bigger muscle group than the bicep. So if we do quads and hamstrings on the same day, my quads being a much bigger muscle group need a lot longer to recover than hamstrings do. As well as over here, if we do back and biceps on the same day, my back maybe needs uh, four days to recover, and my biceps, maybe they only need one day to recover. So while I'm waiting for my next back bicep day, my biceps may have grown and then started the process of tapering off and maybe losing size. And we're not maximizing with this program full muscle growth in our biceps. So just a thought experiment of what the perfect split would be, and I'm just using just rough numbers, but maybe my quads and glutes, they might need five days to recover. And my hamstrings, maybe they only need three days to recover. My shoulders, maybe three. My chest maybe only needs two days. The chest is actually a really small muscle group. And in a lot of people, the chest is actually smaller than our triceps. So it's very possible that our triceps might need three days to recover and our chest only needs two days. And our biceps being one of the smallest group, maybe they only need one day of rest. So here's a little uh, experiment. If you can come up with the perfect split where we're working biceps a lot more than we're working back and trying to fit all this in there. I'm going to give out a free t-shirt for whoever can come up with the perfect split. I hope you learned a lot about training splits today. And if you're getting back into working out or you've been working out, what I recommend when you're picking your training split is try to be honest with yourself. A lot of you out there are going to jump straight into these three or four day advanced lifting programs. And realistically, you should be starting on beginner or intermediate until your body grows and is able to handle that kind of stress. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on our recent content. And if you're looking for a program, head to my website. We have an online program there that has beginner, intermediate, and advanced programs for you to follow.